Here we are at the boat ramp. It's just laying in the night today. Looks beautiful. Luke's coming a bit later. He's running late. Sun's coming up. We're about to head out. Should be a beautiful day. The weather is, doesn't get any better than what the weather is for today. This boat's coming in left, right, and center. Here comes Leanne. We're nearly ready to go. Well, hey there, it's Paul and Leanne from Older. It's an optional YouTube channel, and we're heading out today. We're just not sure how we're going to go. We've got a bit of a plan, but we're going to head out and probably to Keswick, maybe to Scorford, then maybe out to the shipping channel. Just depends on the weather. We'll see how it goes. We've got plenty of petrol. Sounders are working. We're ready to go catch some fish. Come along with us for the ride today. It should be a great time. Big bust up. They're not, I can get close. That's not the drama, actually. They're not skittish at all, but I've tried three different lures and I've got nothing from a hard metal to my big lure on the big rod to um, fish trap on the bait caster, and we're getting nothing. Not even a hit. No on, tried. Well, alas, no matter what we tried, we just couldn't get anything. So we thought, let's try going for a troll. So we went for a troll, but we still didn't catch anything. To be clear, I'm saying we went for a troll, not calling Leanne a troll. Just want to be really clear about that. Oh, well, Leanne's onto a fish. She said she's calling it half <laughs> decent. Double banger. Well, she's got two. Two little blueies. Two little blueies. One's not enough. She's got two. She's <laughs> banging my boat. Well, double bluey, that'd be a reasonable fight, Leanne. Yeah, it was. <laughs> We're just here between um, Keswick and some bees. Show you a bit around a bit later, but I've got a good fish here. I think it's a decent bluey. We've been catching some fish here for probably the last half an hour. Nothing big, but just having a bit of fun. It's a bit rough out in the middle, so we thought we'd come and have a look. Um, just a bluey, he won't be big enough to put him back, but uh, nevertheless, uh, it's fun catching some fish. The land's on something a bit decent here, or she lost it. No? She's got a nice grassy. Well, it's a half decent grassy. We're getting different types of fish here, which is good. So this is my new sounder setup. That's my old one, the Lawrence um, Hook Reveal. That's having a major problem and it hits about 40 meters. It just loses the bottom and just loses everything. But it's maps and everything works well other than that. It's working well now in 22 meters. And this is the new one, the new Lawrence Elite, um, the Elite uh, touchscreen. And it is beautiful. Um, I'm, this is a great screen, great picture. Fish on the screen there now, um, right in front. So now I've got two, one for my maps and one to find me all the fish. We'll see how that goes. Let me know what your setup is. Have you got a similar, anyone got double lines? So Lee and I are in the gap between uh, Keswick and some bees. There's a channel that runs through there. Um, I've been out before. There over there we have some bees island. Uh, some bees has a koala habitat on it. We've actually seen one of those koalas. If I can find that footage, I'll put it in now. Keswick on this side, if you can see in the background, there's some houses there. Uh, people live on Keswick Island and we're about 20 k's out from the Mackay Harbour. It does have an airfield on this um, on the island of Keswick, but I don't think it's been used. I think it got shut down for um, just not quite good enough condition. Uh, so they all have to use their boats to get to and from the mainland. But there's some beautiful houses up there on the hill. Um, I'll see if I can roll some better footage of those houses. So 20 k's out, we have Keswick, we have some bees, and in the background over there is uh, Scorford Island where we've been a couple of times recently if you watch the channel. We're now going to head out to Wigton Island to try and get some redfish. See how we go with that. So fishing today has been a bit of a fast. We've um, uh, seen heap, lots of bust ups, Lean and I. We've been casting and I'm casting everything I've got. Nothing. And I mean I'm landing right in the middle of them. Nothing. No hook ups. We had a um, good fish there in the Keswick and some bees which is probably where we're going to go back. We tried to head across to Wigdon to go after some redfish, but it's just so lumpy. It's really quite unbearable. Um, thumping up and down, so we're good up on that idea. We are just doing a bit of a trolling around um, a, a little rock outcrop out here. Uh, see what we can catch there on the troll. We'll give that about 10-15 minutes. If we anything with that, we're probably just going to head back to um, 
uh, inlet between Keswick and Savies where we were before. I mean, we would have got 10 or 15 blueies. Some of them are size, but um, you, know, you really want blueies around 40 plus, I reckon, to make it worthwhile cooking. So, we're going to try this for a bit and uh, see what comes of that. We had one big hit on the big rod before um, and we uh, snagged a smaller one. So, uh, so we will try this and if we get on, I'll let you know. So we've come back. We went out, as you saw, up and around that island bit. That's rough as guts into the lumps, into the swell. It was bad. Um, as soon as we started coming with the swell, no drama. So we should have a really easy trip home. But going out any further is a drama. Um, it's just, it looks beautiful. You wouldn't know it. So come back to the um, calmness of the bay between Keswick and Sabees Island. We told you a little bit about that. Keswick is the one with the airfield. Sabees is the one with the koala habitat. And um, Liam just got a nice little, just a little one, Red Emperor. Um, I got a little fish. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to find out. I'll put that in. And um, got heaps of blueies. Um, we haven't kept anything yet. Haven't been quite big enough for us to keep. We're a bit fussy keeping the fish. We want a decent fillet. But um, it's relatively calm in here and we're just out of the roughness. And uh, just having a nice day, Liam and I out in the boat uh, fishing. And I've got to tell you, um, we could be in a lot worse places to be when you look around. It is just the most beautiful day. Um, let me just show you where we're at. So we decided we'd head west so we'd be going with the wind and it was oh, it actually blast out, it was quite beautiful. We're headed to a spot that I've got that's uh, allegedly a plane wreck. Um, we catch a lot of fish there but it also gets sharked a lot. So we headed there to see what our luck would have for us at this particular point. It's a good fish! And um, when we got there we found this guy. Cobia, right? That's a beautiful cobia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've caught one or two hit of those here before. Yeah. But it's got to be the right time. It's a beauty. It's got to be legal to eat that. Up and down if you can. You've got to keep that tension on you. Silver. Oh, good fish, Liam. Got them in the gills. In the valley. Nice fish. <laughs> You're happy, you. <laughs> good fish. Oh, my arm. <laughs> Liam's having a white cow today. <laughs> that might have been sharked. Oh. I reckon that's sharked. Yep. What do I do? Mm, not much you can do. Well, Liam's onto a cracker here. I hope it's not a shark, Liam. <laughs> Pump and wine. <laughs> wine and lie down. Hold on to <laughs> I don't think that is a shark. You look awkward today. You look awkward. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got, you know, three or four good fish at the Jigging Fathoms, but uh, we'd also been sharked a lot. Honestly, those blokes who threatened we've got um, sharks are endangered. They ought to just come fishing with me for a day. 
you reckon sharks are in danger where you fish? Oh, it's out of control. Anyway, I decided to head back, uh, come across a couple of nice boats on the way home. Look at the size of this boat. Uh, just heading out of the harbour, uh, heading on its way to wherever it was going. Um, the harbour has uh, facilities for quite a lot of shipping that goes in and out. Uh, someone heading out for a sail. There was quite a numerous amounts of sail boats there today. However, after a good day, we put the boat on the trailer, headed home to clean it up, and we'll look forward to the next trip. If you like this content, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. We love your comments, please. Positive comments, please. And uh, we will see you next time. Don't forget, don't get older, get stronger.